Thursday night at Rogers Arena, it's the return. The return of Roberto Luongo, that is, the number one goalie for the Florida Panthers. Jim, Luongo seems to be having a successful first full season in Florida. What's the story there? Well, you know, I think Roberto's come in there. He's very relaxed. Uh, he's very happy to be there. Um, uh, he's, he's gone to a team that has lacked solid goaltending, consistent goaltending over the past recent years. Uh, he's filled that bill. Uh, Florida's playing a style under new coach Gerard Gallant, uh, which is a very kind of defensive-minded style, hard-working. They play very good, even-strength uh, type hockey. Um, so I think that's contributed to that, and uh, I, I think he really, it's just, as I said, it just all boils down to the fact that his, his head is clear, he's happy to be where he is, and uh, it's uh, showing in his game. You say he's happy where he is, yet on Tuesday, chatting with media here in Vancouver, Luongo dropped some sort of hint that had he played in the Heritage Classic, which of course is right before he was traded last March, maybe he'd still be here. Uh, is that just some sort of blowing smoke thing? Well, I, that's the way I took it. I mean, really, he wanted out. He'd wanted out for some time up to the point of the, of the Heritage Classic. Uh, he'd asked for a trade. Um, it's a bit like somebody saying, well, if, if things had gone differently, I'd still be wandering the Kalahari uh, lost and trying to find my way out. So I, I don't really think that we can read too much into that. I think he was very happy to, uh, uh, to uh, the way those circumstances worked out, bizarre as they were. I think his agents got involved and helped broker a deal. And I think he was very happy to finally get back to Florida. Okay. Okay, there's a guy who wanted to get out for some time. Ryan Kessler was a guy who wanted to get out for some time. And when you think about Kessler coming back here, you can understand why people would have mixed feelings. Earlier this week, Luongo told the Miami Herald that he wasn't sure how fans would react Thursday night at Rogers Arena. I tend to think that he, it's going to be an overwhelmingly positive response. Is there any reason to think that it won't be? You know, I can't see one. Uh, you know, Luongo himself joked the other day that uh, he wasn't sure uh, whether it would be lose or booze, you know, referring to the, uh, his trademark cheer when, when he was very popular here. And I, I tend to think that uh, the fans here will be forgiving. They'll, they'll remember the good times, and there were lots of them, let's face it. Uh, there were some disappointments, but uh, far outweighed by the tremendous performances over the years from Luongo. So I, I tend to think that he'll, he'll be greeted in a very generous way by the fans. Check out all of our Luongo coverage at provincesports.com.